Hello everyone, welcome back. In this tutorial, I will explain you about when to start automation testing activities in a project. This is one of the very common interview question, guys. Forget about the interview. Every automation tester should be very comfortable with this concept. They should know when exactly we are starting automation testing in a project. So when you face this question, generally we are giving one single statement answer. What is that? We are starting automation testing activities only after completion of one cycle of manual testing. This is the standard answer which every tester is giving. But you should know internally, why do we need to wait for one cycle of manual testing? What is the reason behind it? That I'll explain you in the today's session, guys. So let me start with the scenario. As you all aware of that, like uh, every client in the world will provide you all the requirements in the format of releases or in the format of sprints. When you are working in a waterfall model, then you are getting the requirements in the format of releases. But when you are working in a agile, then you are getting the requirements in the format of sprints. So terminology changing as concept remains same. No client in the world will provide you all the requirements at a time. So every client is providing the requirements in the format of releases or in the format of sprints. So let me start with the example you can understand. See, assume that there is a one client guys. Assume that there is a one client called Bank of America. There is a one client called Bank of America. This Bank of America client is having total thousand requirements. Some thousand requirements they are having. So they are not providing all the requirements at a time. They are uh, delivering, they are releasing, okay, hundred requirements. They are releasing hundred requirements in a first release, okay, to the development team, dev team and the QA team. Both the teams received requirements from the client so as soon as dev team receive the requirements from the client what dev team is doing they are analyzing the requirements they are analyzing the requirements and they are writing the code and develop the application they are writing the coding and developing the application in dev environment so we are least to bother about it because we need not to worry how developers are developing the application and all as a testers, we have our own responsibilities so that we need to concentrate more. So we are least bothering like how developers are developing the application, how they are writing the code and all we need not to worry. So as a QA team, for example, there are total 20 developers and 10 QA team. QA, QA testers are 10 members in a project. So as soon as QA team receive the requirements from the client, what these 10 testers are doing, they are anal analyzing the requirements. They are doing analysis. After that, they are identifying the test scenarios. They are identifying test scenarios. Then they are designing the test cases. For example, they design total 100 test cases in a project. So once they design the test cases, they are preparing the test data. Understand everyone, when developers are developing the application, see uh, testers are not sitting ideal. They are analyzing the requirements. They are identifying the test scenarios and they are designing the test cases and also they prepare the test data. So everything is ready with us now. So once we complete this test data preparation, we are waiting for the build to test. One fine day, development team successfully developed the application and they deploy the application into QA environment. See, they deploy the application into which environment? QA environment. As soon as they deploy the application into QA, we got the confirmation from the operations team that deployment was successfully completed. So as soon as we got the confirmation, all the 10 testers are involving and performing testing on the application by executing these test cases with the help of the test data. Guys, clear. So in this scenario, when we are starting testing activities in a project, as soon as we got the requirements. But when you are starting testing in a project, as soon as we got the build deployed into QA environment. So all the 10 testers are involving and performing testing on the application manually by executing the 100 test cases. So as soon as we completed all the 100 test cases execution for one time, that is called as one cycle. What do you mean by cycle? execute all the test cases in a project for one time that is called as one cycle whenever we executed all the hundred test cases for one time 
That means whenever we completed one cycle of manual testing, in these 10 testers, three testers will start implementing automation testing in a project. Rest of the seven testers will continue with the manual testing. So here my question is, Kishore, why do we need to wait for one cycle of manual testing? Why can't we start the automation testing from the scratch? As soon as we got the requirements, why we are not starting implementing automation testing? The reason is, there is a reason. First thing is, for starting automation testing activities, the first prerequisite is application must be available. This is the first condition. So do you observe it? As soon as we got the requirements from the client, manual testing team is analyzing the requirements, designing the test scenarios, designing the test cases, design the test data. When you are performing these activities, application is still not available. Developers are developing the application. So we are starting these manual testing activities without having the application. But for starting automation testing activities, the first condition is what? Application must be available. Guys, clear everyone. Coming to the second point. Kishore, once the application has deployed into QA environment, application is available. Then why we are not immediately starting automation? Why do we need to wait for one cycle of manual testing? Because that application must be stable. That application must be stable. What is the meaning of stable? That application should not contain any exceptions. Sometimes, do you remember, once the application has deployed into QA, when we are testing the application, you are having some exception, page not found exception, okay, Java null pointer exception, port not for error, these type of exceptions we are facing in application. That exception should not be there in the application. Next one is, application should not contain any crashes. Application crashes should not be there. What is the meaning of crashes? Sometimes application, application is suddenly closing. Application will be hanging. Application will be restarting. And understand guys, next one, that application should not contain any environment issues. Environment issues is, means what? Application is not loading. Application is not closing. Application is not minimizing. These type of environment issues we have, we should not have. Next one, application should not contain any urgent severity defects. Urgent severity defects. So when we don't have these issues in application, then only we can consider application is stable. Understand everyone? So why do we need to wait for one cycle of manual testing? Because for starting automation testing, application must be available. Yes, Kishore, once the application is deployed, why we are not starting automation? Because we need to wait until the application is stable. Stable means what? Application should not contain any exceptions, should not contain any crashes, should not contain any environment issues, should not contain any urgent severity defects. Then only we can start implementing automation testing. Kishore, I have a question here. How can you confirm whether application is stable or not after completion of one cycle of manual testing? Think in a reverse order. When the application is stable, then only I can able to execute this 100 test cases for one time. That is the reason we are waiting for one cycle of manual testing. Whenever we completed one cycle, these three testers will start implementing the automation testing activities. But Kishore, my question is, when these three testers are implementing automation testing in a project, what these seven testers are doing? These seven testers are working on second release manual testing. Understand, project is not completed. We completed only 100 requirements. Second sprint, they are working. So when the manual team is working on second sprint, automation team is automating the first sprint test cases. So by the completion of the automation testing in a first sprint, manual testers will complete the second sprint manual testing. Immediately, these automation testers will directly jump into the second sprint automation. When we are working on second sprint automation, manual testers are working on third sprint manual testing. Okay, once we complete the second sprint automation testing, then directly we are jumping into the third sprint automation testing. So it's a cyclic process. So we need to continue this process until the requirements of the client is completed. This is how we are waiting for one cycle of manual testing in a project. I hope you understand this guys. So because this is very important area, okay, because in every project we are not initiating with automation testing. 
we are initiating with only manual testing activities. Whenever we completed one cycle of manual testing, then only we need to start with automation testing. Thank you very much.